have really decided to not take things and let things affect you as greatly as they used to. There's some big shift here. We have the Eight of Cups uh, clarifying the Eight of Wands. The Eight of Cups is in reverse. Uh, this is something you have walked away. You are walk, You have walked away from an old version of yourself and you're going into this whole new version of you. I talked to you about transmuting energy um, and it really is, it really is like this Phoenix rising, this new version of you and that's showing up here very significantly. With judgment, we have temperance. It's taken time, balance. It definitely is all happening in the most divine timing. I think when you see this message, Scorpios, it's going to be really eye-opening for you of the growth and the change and just the way that you see your future future, your life, things in general, how you th see things that even happened in your past are very different than you used to view them before. This has taken a lot of work. It's taken a lot of patience on your part to go through all of this internal healing because that's what it is. It's internal healing and internal work. This is not an easy thing. I don't want to make it seem like it has been because it definitely has not. It is a lot of work. We have the six of pentacles here with this nine of swords in reverse clarifying it. Uh, you will be receiving some kind of uh, equal give and take here. Somebody is going to help you out. Somebody may be reaching out to you that wants to work together with you. Um, I feel also like people are just acknowledging how far you've come and how balanced you are at this period in time in your life. So with the Nine of Cups, we got the Tower, another major arcana, clarifying this Nine of Cups. So there's going to be something that comes in. Like I said, there's some wish fulfillment that's going to be coming through for you. Um, Scorpios, I almost said Pisces. That's going to come through for you. It's going to be very surprising. It's going to, it's almost like a gift from the universe for like, good job. Pat on the back. Like, I'm so proud of all the growth that you've had. So expect that, expect the unexpected. Something really Something really great that you have been wanting is going to be coming your way. It's going to make you very happy. Scorpio. Scope, scope, Scorpio. Let's get into it, shall we? Scorpios, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Amanda Marissa, and welcome, darlings. Good morning, good day, and good evening, loves. I am sending you all my love, light, and sprinkles. I hope you have the most fabulous day ahead. If you're new to my channel, welcome to the High Vibe Tribe. Over here, we are all about raising the collective vibration. Uh, I am sending everyone my love to you. Thank you if you're a subscriber or a continued watcher. And if you're new, hopefully you'll become one as well and uh, get some value out of this reading. So definitely comment down below if this resonates with you. I'd love to hear your feedback. We're going to get a fairy card. Scorpios, what do you need to know from the fairies? The fairy oracle. What do they have for you? What magical message? Magical message for my Scorps. What do they need to know? It, it is almost Scorpio season, darling. So happy early birthday. Awakening your true self. Ooh, some of you guys are having a lot of self-reflection. There's a big message here about being who you truly are. There's a big message here about you walking in your purpose, what that true purpose is, whether it aligns with other people or not. Welcome. Welcome to the awakening. <laughs> Uh, loyal heart is our card from the wisdom of the Oracle. This is Colette Baron Reed and I am going to read out of the book. I've been reading out of the book. There's a reason why if you don't want to watch it, I bet by the end of this reading, you're going to want to come back and watch it. Skip it now. If you want, I'm going to read it. It's card number 38 breaks down 38. It's card number 35, which breaks down to an eight. My bad. The Oracle message is this evidence of loyalty will appear in your life. Others will prove that they are faithful to you and you will in turn commit fully to them. There is a sure and abiding certainty in your heart. Know that spirit is always loyal to you. Be loyal to yourself. I added that. Um, no matter the circumstances in your life, trust and have faith for you are eternally loved, always divinely protected and divinely directed. Relation relationship message. 
Your partnerships, friendships, and romantic relationships have all so many qualities in common right now. Honest, devotion, faithfulness, and a loyal heart are being shown to you. Are you as loyal in return? Now's the time for a heartfelt commitment and trusting in divine protection. Your prosperity message. Your long-term loyalty to your goals is becoming evident in the world of conditions where your aspirations for success assume form in reality. Success is finally taking shape. If you are loyal to your dreams, faithful to your plans, while remaining flexible and devoted to serving others, you will be shown proof of your true prosperity. This is a time for, let me turn the page, joyful celebration of the spirit and manifesting partner. Your protection message is such. Are you stubborn or overly tenacious about an idea? Or have you become so attached to something that you just don't know how to let it go? Could it be that it's become so much a part of you that you wouldn't know who you were without it? Now is the time to look at outdated beliefs, old ideas, and misplaced loyalties. Betrayal is only a signal that it is time to prune, prune away all who don't deserve your trust and have no place in your life moving forward. Be new, think new, and open your heart to new things. Let go of the old and all your attachment. Spirit has awesome plans for you and make some rooms. Make some room. So I, I think this was really a great card to come out with awakening to your true self because it really talked about now is the time to look at outdated beliefs old ideas and misplaced loyalties. So really being true and honest with yourself about situations. I love it. Um, so I, there's a lot of loyalty and good connections that are coming. I expect this reading to be positive. <laughs> All right, Scorpios, what is it that you need to know right here, right now? What is your message for my Scorps? Scorpios, what do you need to know? Well, that will come out if it needs to. Scorpio, first off, you're coming up in your own reading, darlings. Death and rebirth. There is something that you are really, I feel like you're going through like this internal death and rebirth, really reevaluating how you've handled situations in the past, how you handle situations now, how you want to handle situations now. Uh, it, it's really, it is this awakening. It is letting go of the old and allowing new to come in. I feel like this is you showing up new to yourself. You really have done a lot of, and I have big goosebumps, Scorpios I'm speaking to have done a lot of inner work recently, having to do with self-evaluation, having to do with how you want to be seen, how you want to be heard, how you want your own thoughts to affect you or not affect you. It's really been this really surreal kind of um, intense energy that the Scorpios have been going through, the goosebumps are huge, that Scorpios have been going through to... Um, to acknowledge this growth, there's this huge growth factor uh, in yourself. And that's interesting because I, when I said that card will come out again, it was the 10, the 10 of cups, and it actually came out in reverse. And the first time it was upright, but let's see, it needs to be in reverse. So it, I feel like some of you guys are at, are at this energy right now, Scorpios, where there's a lot of self-doubt. It's kind of like this in-between energy of wanting to really have this belief that everything does work out for you and wanting to have this belief that, yes, it's going to, I'm going to have everything I ever wanted and have my happily over the rainbow and, and happy family, happy life and joyful. But for a lot of you that are watching this right now, you're not feeling that way. And it's really hard for I, the people I'm speaking to, the collective right now, is in the space where they're having a difficult time being optimistic, working through this old beliefs and old energies while still being optimistic at the same time about their future and what, what you're able to have, what you are deserving to have, what you are made to have here because we're all deserving and you are deserving, okay? So I feel like you need to hear that. Like, there's something here about you are so deserving of it and there's a lot of questions about it. I feel like a lot of you may have been hurt in deep connections before. Perhaps some of you don't have a close family 
uh, don't have close connections with people and you haven't in a long time and you've been disappointed. And so I feel like for some of you, you're just wondering if like you're meant to go at this alone, whether this is with a relationship or just, you know, even friends, like you're like, I, I'm just wondering if it, if it's something that I, I can have, or if I'm meant to be just by myself. So after the ten of Pentacles, or the ten of cups in reverse, we have this eight of wands here. This is you moving forward despite feeling this uncertainty over not having this happily ever after, of not having this family, this deep connection that you so eagerly want. This, I mean, we all want connection. We all want to be loved, regardless. You can tell me you don't, but you're not telling me the truth because that's all we want is to have true authentic love. And so you're moving forward. And I think this is just really a great uh, message of showing your growth, of showing your evolution, of showing your tenacity in such a way of you really moving forward, despite even having some concerns about having that attainable happily ever after that you want. You know, it, it's like you, you're, you're keeping there's some little spark that's like, it could still happen for me. And you haven't like completely let go and you're still moving forward. And this is spirit telling you to continue to move forward because you are moving in the right direction. You are, it, it's like there was something, there's something here with working out some old things, some old lessons, some old habits that we learned over life. It's like, it's this, rebirth of yourself that needs to happen before those deep connections can come in the way that you deserve it and the way that you would want it to come in. And so I feel like spirit is just saying, keep moving on that right path because this is a card about momentum. It's a card about uh, moving quickly. And then we have the judgment call. There's something that woke you up. There's something that you are being called from having to do with this death and rebirth. It's like, it's time to wake up now because the way that some of you guys who are watching this have been living and maybe you were very pessimistic, pessimistic, there we go, pessimistic, um, or just really viewing things in a negative tone, like glass half empty, right? It's like, it, you need to have a wake up call. It's about gratitude. It's about being thankful. It's about looking at things things can only affect you the way that you look at them. So if you look at them from a better perspective, then the outcomes and your choices are gonna be better. And easier said than done, right? I say that after years and years of work, like years, a lifetime, <laughs> you know, but um, that's really what it comes down to. This is you and this is a reading about your growth. This is a reading about renewal. This is a reading about lessons that you are now applying this is a reading about your internal desire to move forward in a different direction, um, to move forward in purpose, to move forward in love, to move forward in authenticity, really, your true authentic self. And to not let things hold you back, like maybe your upbringing or maybe bad situations, bad boyfriends, girlfriends, husbands, wives, whatever that is. Um, poor parenting, all those kind of things, like taking what happened in your life and just moving forward and applying it in the most positive way that you can and really redeveloping and transmuting that energy into something beautiful, which is this new version of yourself. So um, welcome to your wake up call because it's definitely, it, it, this message is very clear that this is, this is somebody who number one is definitely very very heartfelt like they definitely have this deep heart and loyalty is huge to the person I'm speaking to right now it is one of the biggest things on your list truthfulness and loyalty and I feel like some of you guys may have given to situations that weren't loyal in return uh, we have this nine of swords this is nightmares not being able to sleep it is in reverse I feel like a lot of you guys because you've been going through this trans transformation period it has been uh, a lot easier to let go of things to allow things to 
feel them and to learn from them and not to allow them to take over you so intensely. Because with this Nine of Swords in reverse, this is you not allowing situations to affect you like they used to. This is allowing things to be what they're going to be and moving forward in practical ways that you can that are not harmful to yourself you know that you can still they may not work out the way you wanted but you can still find some sense of peace within what's happening and not get so worked up about it i guess not let anxiety take over not let the sky is falling you know you are more open to seeing other options it's like there's a new doorway that's open for you to evaluate things. You don't only look in this one way that you used to. There's something really big about you used to Scorpios look at a situation just very one way. And now it's like, okay, I could look at it in several different ways and I don't have to let it consume me. I don't have to let it cause me to have anxiety attacks. I don't have to let it affect me on such a deep level because I have control over the way that I feel. It's the only thing you have control over. Okay. So because of this death and rebirth, we have the nine of cups here. This, this process that you're going through is really going to make you one happy camper, darling. You are going to be very excited uh, for the growth that you've had. It's going to allow for the life that you really wanted to live and the full purpose. And like I said, your full authenticity uh, to show up. And when you show up in that way, you have nothing but gratitude. You have nothing but excitement. You have nothing but wishing is coming true for you because it's a change of mindset there's this huge change of mindset here with you the the collective i'm reading for and if you, this isn't resonating for you it's definitely not your reading because it's very specific let's get some more cards you know this is like the the cocoon and the butterfly it's dark and dreary and then you like have wings and you can fly and you're beautiful and you can see and there's options and there's choices and it's like magical. It's an, a whole new world and your perception has changed. The queen of pentacles. Darling, you are going to be feeling so much more stable, so much more grounded. Uh, the queen of pentacles is somebody who has, who has a very practical view of things who's not like emotionally led but also somebody who's very resourceful I feel like you're going to be feeling just so much more stable in this new version of yourself you know and we're constantly evolving and growing right it's not just like a one-time thing or a every year thing i mean it's there's constant evolution well let me rephrase that for high vibed individuals who are trying to show up as their best self and who are awakened, there is definitely constant evolution. We are not just, you know, we want to continue to grow and to expand and to be the best version of ourself. And that means accepting the worst versions of ourselves, right? accepting all of us and loving every single part of it. Anyways, with this eight of pentacles, it's like you have let go underneath that is the Capricorn energy, the devil. You have let go, go of this mind. Remember I said it was mindset. You have let go of toxic thinking, maybe even toxic habits. So maybe you were a heavy drinker or you, you were taking pain drugs or something and you recognized how it was dimming your light and not allowing you to show up in your true self. There's something here that you really let go of some toxic behavior, some toxic mindset, some toxic patterns that have happened um, fairly recently and decided to make a change. And it's because you've had that judgment, that wake up call. It was like you were being called to wake up and really recognize who you were right here, right now. And you have let go the bonds, the chains that binded you. You've broken free. It is that butterfly in that cocoon. You have broken free. Underneath judgment, we have the high priestess. People may think you're mysterious. They, they, with this change that's happening within, it's like people who know you may be like, what in the world has happened to this individual? You know, like, because it is like a complete 180. It's like 
night and day versions of you and I think there it just really is going to take people by surprise and they're like what like it's shocking and they don't really know who you truly are like it's just a mystery of how you've how you've decided to change this how you've decided to start controlling your life in more of an intentional manner also I believe like you are trusting in your own judgment more I think I think here, this is you balancing the, like I said, loving, loving even the bad things that we've done, appreciating all levels of our life, right? Uh, it is about this balance. It is about the dark and the light. And it's about you having this ability to balance things on a more equal level versus just straight chaotic and everything is, guy, it's falling. Oh my God, it's doomsday that's really big here and so you've had a lot of resilience and strength and hope and this is just showing you with the star coming out here after all this first off there's a ton of major arcana we have death we have judgment we have the devil we have the hierophant and we have the star aquarian energy so there's a lot of hope there's a lot of desire there's a lot of like inspiration i feel like there's some things that you guys are wishing for and hoping that's going to come true. I do believe that's going to occur because we do also have this Nine of Cups and this is wishes granted. I keep wanting to say Nine of Pentacles. I'm not sure why, but let's get clarifiers. Let's clarify this uh, death card. What do we need to know about death? The Scorpionic energy. What do we need to know about death? <laughs> the Magician. Darling, you took, you've had all the power all along. It's like Dorothy and the Wizard of Oz with her shoes. She had them on the whole time. She didn't need something outside of her to change the situation. She just needed to click her shoes, darling, and believe that she had the power to do it. You, you have the power. You have all the tools to manifest and create the reality you want. You always have. You always will. But this is about having that belief to create it the way that you want to and know that you have that ability with the magician showing up here. Let's clarify this 10 of cups in reverse. What do we need to know about the 10 of cups in reverse? Again, a lot of major arcana here. Okay. So we have the nine of swords in reverse again. Duplicates always happen on my channel. If you're new here, it's just going to keep happening. But um, yeah, I, I mean, it's like you have really decided to not take things and let things affect you as greatly as they used to. There's some big shift here. We have the Eight of Cups uh, clarifying the Eight of Wands. The Eight of Cups is in reverse. Uh, this is something you have walked away. You are walk, You have walked away from an old version of yourself and you're going into this whole new version of you. I talked to you about transmuting energy um, and it really is, it really is like this phoenix rising, this new version of you. And that's showing up here very significantly. With judgment, we have temperance. It's taken time, balance. Uh, <laughs> it definitely is all happening in the most divine timing. I think when you see this message, Scorpios, it's going to be really eye-opening for you of the growth and the change and just the, the way that you see your future, your life, things in general, how you th see things that even happened in your past are very different than you used to view them before. This has taken a lot of work. It's taken a lot of patience on your part to go through all of this internal healing because that's what it is. It's internal healing and internal work. This is not an easy thing. I don't want to make it seem like it has been because it definitely has not. It is a lot of work. We have the six of pentacles here with this nine of swords in reverse clarifying it. Uh, you will be receiving some kind of uh, equal give and take here. Somebody is going to help you out. Somebody may be reaching out to you that wants to work together with you. I feel also like people are just acknowledging how far you've come and how balanced you are at this period in time in your life. So with the Nine of Cups, we got the Tower, another major arcana, clarifying this Nine of Cups. So there's going to be something that comes in. Like I said, there's some wish fulfillment that's going to be coming through for you, um, Scorpios, Amos, and Pisces. That's going to come through for you. Uh, that's going to be very surprising. It's going to, it's almost like a gift from the universe for like, good job. Pat on the back. Like, I'm so proud of all the growth that you've had. Expect that, expect the unexpected, something really 
something really great that you have been wanting is going to be coming your way uh, that you weren't expecting to come out. It's going to make you very happy. Let's clarify this Queen of Pentacles. King of Swords. That's clear communication and we have the Fool in reverse. You put a stop to old patterns and habits and beliefs. And this is like you're no longer going to move in situations with all the wisdom that you know. I'm trying to figure out the best way to convey this as I'm seeing it. With all the wisdom and lessons that you've learned, you're only going to be moving forward in a specific way. And if you're going to be the fool, you're going to really evaluate that situation for it openly and willing. It's like a little bit of cautious before making a decision, but it's also clarifying this queen of pentacles who's very resourceful and grounded. So you're not going to be making impulsive choices. Like everything that you're doing now is very strategic. It's very methodical. It also is very grounded. Like you're not, you're not doing anything impulsive. It's very slow moving energy. Like you're really thinking things through a lot more, seeing things from all different perspectives. Clarifying the devil in reverse, we have the five of cups. I feel like a lot of you guys are really hard on yourself. You just have given yourself such a hard time and it's really about, sure, maybe you've made mistakes, we all have, but it's about embracing the new and looking at the growth that you do have and also knowing that even though you've been disappointed in past emotional experiences, there are still really, really good things ahead for you. There are, real, there are two cups here that are available that are full that are being given to you. And it, it is about seeing that glass half full, not half empty. That's really what it is. Let's clarify this high priestess. What do we need to know about this high priestess following intuition, being kind of mysterious? <laughs> Six of swords in reverse. You are coming back to who you are. You are coming back to trusting yourself. You're coming back to knowing that you've got this. You're coming back to this new version of you. And it, and I say coming back because it's, it, it, I say coming back because you are coming back to you, but it's a completely different version of you. It's not the same person. It, it's definitely this elevated new horizon of yourself. I hope that makes sense. We have the Knight of Wands here. So uh, as you're balancing this new version of you and, and really like feeling more in alignment with that, you could be receiving a message <laughs> coming in. We have the Knight of uh, Wands and the Page of Wands. So this could be somebody who's younger than you, but somebody is rushing in to give you some kind of communication. You're going to hear from somebody uh, coming in. And let's clarify the star that was at the bottom of the deck. The Four of Pentacles, holding on tight, keeping things close. Let's clarify this Four of Pentacles with the star. I feel like you hope that you're going to be able to share, even though the Four of Pentacles came out. Let's clarify the Four of Pentacles, the Seven of Pentacles. So I feel like for some of you, this wish, dream, hope has to do with money. And you're like, I hope everything that I've done is going to pay off and it's going to be worth it. And I'm going to see this result because the seven of Pentacles is like putting in all this work and energy and waiting to see if it actually manifests and if it actually comes true, if it actually was worth all the energy and work that you put into it. And if you're going to be feeling scarcity or if you're going to be feeling abundant. And what I can tell you is, and the hermit at the bottom of the deck, what I can tell, and it was in reverse. Um, what I can tell you is, is that with the seven of pentacles showing up here, it's very clear that you have done a lot of hard work on yourself. Remember I said this road hasn't been easy. This is something that you've taken a lot of time to do. This transformation of rebirth in Phoenix Rising is a process and it definitely is going to pay off because when you do that inner work and that inner self work, you can't, you can't do nothing but go up from there. You just can't. It's the law.
<laughs> it's the law. So hopefully this gave you some insight on your journey ahead. You do have some information coming towards you, some messages, an unexpected wish is coming true for you. You are going to be feeling a lot more full emotionally and satisfied. Remember also to keep your loyal heart and that there are people who have a lower heart towards you. And awakening to your true self. I, I mean, the first card couldn't have been more powerful. If you skipped over that, there's a reason why. I, I told you you might want to come back and watch that. If you skipped over it, you should listen to what I read out of the book. That's what this reading is all about, awakening to your true self. So, Scorpios, I hope this gave you insight and value. If you would like to vibe high with me, definitely subscribe so you can be in this energy exchange, darling. And I'm sending you all my love, light, and sprinkles. Give me a thumbs up. And until next time.